Maribel, thank you. Now to the Donald Trump presidency. This morning, President Trump is firing back as we learn more about a previously undisclosed meeting between Mr. Trump and Vladimir Putin. The meeting happened at the G20 summit earlier this month. Meantime, new questions are emerging as yet another person is identified as being at that meeting Donald Trump Jr. had with a Russian lawyer during the 2016 presidential election. CBS4's Mola Lenghi has more from Washington, D.C. President Trump took to Twitter late Tuesday night, insisting there was nothing wrong with his second, previously undisclosed meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the G20 summit earlier this month. The president wrote, the fake news is becoming more and more dishonest. Even a dinner arranged for top 20 leaders in Germany is made to look sinister. We look forward to a lot of very positive things happening for Russia, for the United States. That was Mr. Trump at the official one-on-one. -on -one. The second took place later on at a dinner for world leaders and their spouses that was closed to the press. The White House says all leaders mingled, and at the end of the night, the president walked over to Putin, who was seated next to the first lady. There are reports the two spoke for an hour, though the White House says the two leaders had a brief conversation and that the only reason the sole translator there was Russian was because President Trump had only a Japanese translator with him. Back here in Washington, investigators looking into Russian election meddling have someone else with whom they'd like to speak. An eighth person identified as being at the controversial meeting with Donald Trump Jr. The lawyer for Ike Kavalatse, a Soviet-born businessman, says his client was at the meeting with Donald Jr., set up with a Russian lawyer who was promising, during the election, damaging information on Hillary Clinton. What we see here is, again, um, senior levels of the Trump administration and now the Trump family not coming clean with information. Cavalazzi's lawyer says investigators for special counsel Robert Mueller looking into Russian interference into the election are asking to speak with his client. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Washington.